Well, part of your career as a counselor, um, and correct me if I'm misstating this, but it was to raise the awareness and to heighten the importance of environmental issues in the minds of leaders of industry, to help them understand how important it is to their image in the long term and how to protect themselves against um, coming trends in terms of legislation and public opinion and position themselves for the future. And I'd point to a, um, if you'd like to rephrase that, I, that would be Well, I, yeah, that, that I don't know that I've ever had to push that at all. I'm, I really feel as though my job as a consultant is to listen real hard mm -hmm. <laughs> to what the problem is and what the company is facing and then try to interpret it in terms of what I know about what folks out here in government and the community are expecting and requiring and try to then to come up with some initiatives and some ways of, uh, of dealing with things, including mm -hmm. such things as uh, let's form a team of folks that you usually wouldn't sit down with. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to some folks outside, as I did do with a couple of companies facilitating a dialogue with those who should have a stake and do have a stake in the company and to work towards some compromise and um, um, amicable win-win uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. An example of that is in the trucking industry where some years ago government started to require uh, the kinds of reduction in tailpipe emissions that just could not be achieved unless everybody got together and decided they had to change the fuel that's going into those, those vehicles. Now mm -hmm. I'm talking about diesel. And so we put around the table some folks who had a stake in that, a good outcome there and ended up having a good outcome, actually taking it all the way to the Supreme Court to get the ruling on what sort of sulfur content there was in diesel fuel mm -hmm. uh, changed. So that's, that's the kind of thing, working with others. It's not, not pushing, it's just trying to find out how you, how you collaborate toward a, a reasonable win-win outcome. I'd like to ask you a few more questions now uh, about the industry in general and how it's changed over the last decades and yeah. how it's gotten to where it is today. Uh, specifically, um, do you think that the counseling role of public relations is still as vigorous as it, uh, and important as it once was? Or, um, in your opinion, is the role changing? Counseling? More important than ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's grown. Yeah. I see people in corporate PR who are counseling at a higher level than ever before. And, you know, they aren't all just <laughs> they certainly no longer just media people, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are counseling on, uh, on everything from politics to economics to social behavior to production problems to international problems to uh, trade uh, issues. Just a huge, larger gamut of responsibility. So counseling inside companies has, it seems to me, moved up the scale. And I know that those who say, you got to get a seat at the table and whatnot. I, companies I look at, the table is, is, is large and we are there in various important and maybe new capacities. I see PR people moving into other areas. Mm -hmm from HR to government relations <laughs> to um, investor uh, responsibilities greater than ever before. Is some of the uh, confusion over the role of the PR counselor due to the different and changing names that are applied to the function, um, counselor, communications officer, and marketing communications, do you see any of that as um, making the role more difficult to define? Uh, sure, it's more difficult to define if we insist on a common label that we can call everybody. Uh, why has it happened? Because inside companies, being acceptable to the folks who make the ultimate decisions at the top about who, who's in these jobs uh, has changed our, our terminology. Mm -hmm. 
So therefore, a public relations person inside a company may be thought of in a different way than a corporate communications person. I personally, if I had my druthers, I would call them something else, just, you know, vice presidents of, of sustainable operations <laughs> or, or something much bigger than the name media relations or communications or even, even public relations. Maybe it's stakeholder relations mm -hmm. we're talking about.